Hello chat and welcome. This is going to be the two final uh, quests of Stormblood. So in a second here, we are going to jump into that and uh, try to finish this up and see how it goes. I'm pretty excited. This area has been pretty epic. We've been doing a lot and I think it's about time we uh, kind of wrap up the this expansion here. So let's see how this goes. On our way. I was trying to grab all the Aether Currents right before this, so we're pretty close actually. They kind of like give them to you pretty fast in this area. We only have one more quest and then two more Aether Currents, which I'm, I think one of them is nearby. It is somewhere this way, so here we go. Look like we're about to storm the castle. It's just directly east right now. Top this again. There it is. I was gonna say, my only hope is that it's not below us. It looks like we're, we're right at it, so that's good. We'll have to kill this thing, it looks like. Yeah, definitely calling in Bahamut uh, first thing seems to be a lot better. Whenever he's available, I'm just going to call him in. Because then by the time, if you run through all these, by the time you're done, then you're good. Like he's back. Uh, well, let me think. So, I might change up the rotation between these. 420, 320, and 220. So... I can leave it like that. That's fine. But the only thing is, these two cast times are instant. And you get four stacks of each. So technically, 320 times four Three twenty times four would be twelve eighty damage. Uh, four twenty times two can probably do that, but I did plus four twenty times two. It's gonna be eight forty, right? Eight forty, yep. But then two twenty times four, it's gonna be eight eighty. So I feel like I should actually use Titan first because you get four of those. Then uh, Titan grew to then if if right. Yeah, let me swap those around because theirs are instant when you pop them or use them. And then the last one is Ifrit, which he has a, uh, a cast timer to use it. So it's kind of like you do more damage up front, but if you use the other ones, you do more damage overall. Where is the last Aether then? To the Southwest? Oh, so it's down there then. I wasn't expecting that.
You clear the road. There's no need for you to fight Xenos. And you're a liar, which boy. First st stones and spit curses. Oh boy. Together. So it comes to this. Ba 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 I'm gonna front load uh, some of those abilities.
Ah, you are returned. Were your negotiations with the Wolfman successful? The one they called the White was receptive to our words once we told him of Doma's liberation. They withdrew behind the walls to inform their brethren. If the gods are good, no blood shall be shed between our peoples this day. Hear, hear! Now, I think it's time we did something about those gates. Thaumaturgis, forward! Give me Hellfire! Give me Ifrit's bloody inferno! Oh boy. Now give me a curse and winter! Enough ice and snow to bury a behemoth! We nearly had it! Jeez. Is that... Witness my Eorzean brothers and sisters, Doma is come to pay her debts. Lord Hian. We will deal with the flying machines. Forward, my friends, for freedom and justice. Through. The way is clear. Oh boy, here we are chat, Stormblood, the final quest of Stormblood. I think it's time. Let's do it. Quest accepted. Alamigo now accessible. That was fast. I wasn't expecting that.
This is it, lads. This is it. I guess somebody isn't accepting. There it goes, jeez. Wasn't me. It wasn't me, it was the other guy. The other damage guy. We are really running it. <laughs> Wait, what happened? <laughs> Man, we all wiped. Pretty cool, whatever that just was.
I still don't have my rune ability, I just realized again. Man, my uh, right of whatever it was. The ruby right and the other one. I still just only have the uh, default ability. Did I summon part one? There it goes. Another one bites the dust. See that? I don't even see whatever happened. I have a feeling the tank's gonna leave. in my distance here. Oh, 
There we go. Just having some failures. A few setbacks, nothing too crazy. Oh god. Trying to hit all my abilities as much as I can. While also trying to stay out of all the explosives that they have going off here. Ah, damn. Alright, let's get Bahamut in here. gonna say we're all good we got out I it's crazy findings if you don't start moving in time for a lot of this game then you're, you're gonna get screwed like pretty bad success um huh We have to get back to our bodies. Oh no! Some rebels. Go go go! Nice. That's pretty cool. My word, it's dangerous.
I love having this much damage. It's like so nice being able to like just, every time I call in Bahamut, I can hit like three or four abilities all at once. And then it's like, bing, bang, boom. Like they all do their damage and it's solid damage too. Even on bosses, I feel like it does decent enough. The big dog. Does anyone want to mess Xenos about? This moment lasts forever. Yeah. 
Show me your role. Yes! Yes! Just so! Wait, what? This is it. Let's finish him off. Whoa, that guy's armor looks sick. I never realized. I am loath to recall how disappointed I was when first we fought. But finally, finally, after bathing in the blood and awful of your enemies, finally you prove yourself worthy prey for the hunt. It fills you even now, doesn't it? The hunger to bite down on my jugular. To feel the warmth fill your mouth and run over, even as you drink deep. Good. Good. This is the beast I have longed to face. As you sharpen your claws, I too sought newfound strength. But this is no place for a final contest. Come! The heavens shall bear witness to our dance. Welcome to the Royal Menagerie.
This area right here reminds me of the final battle in Assassin's Creed. The King of Creed Ruin one. built this place for his foreign queen. He kept it filled with familiar when the guy pulls out the apple of Eden. They bored me all. This fine specimen, on the other hand, is simply divine. Divine. Your fates are entwined, are they not, Icon Slayer? This dragon, this embodiment of unbridled despair, born of a desperate man's burning hatred for the Empire. How raw the raging tempest that churns within its breast. No myth made manifest this, but a being of pure violence. <laughs> Mayhap you are the true architect of our design. You who fought the very soul of vengeance to the edge and watched him fall. You who let slip the Alagon Hound to drive this icon into my arms. Oh, why have I said too much? Forgive me, this sensation is wholly unfamiliar to me. A question, then, and I should like very much for you to speak from the heart. If I were to stand aside, what would you do to this icon? Kill it, bind it, dot, dot, dot. Kill it. Ah, as simple as that. But of course, you are the Icon Slayer. Such certainty is to be expected. A pity. There is another alternative. Or there would be, had you only mastered your ability. I speak of the Echo, of course. Does it merely render you immune to iconic influence, or is it rather that your influence is far greater than theirs? Granted, these implications are of no moment to a savage who thinks only of killing the beast before him. But when I read Van Belsar's reports, I immediately saw the boundless potential of the Echo. I saw how it could be instrumental in binding an icon to one's will. Hence my research and the Resonant. I know so much more. All oh. icons must be exterminated without exception. Such was the Imperial Mandate issued by my great-grandfather after he saw firsthand the destruction wrought by one such being. They are a blight upon this star, he felt. And so he began his great and just crusade. Ha! T'was not justice which spurred his campaign, but fear! Fear of the Icons! Fear of their power! Cowardice made them march forth to battle. Pathetic. Man should fight for the joy of it. To live, to eat, to breed. Lesser beasts snap and howl at one another for this. Only man has the wisdom and the clarity that face. to embrace violence for its own sake. For we who are born into this merciless, meaningless world have but one candle of life to burn. I know you understand this. You and I are one and the same. Together, we could while away the quiet hours as friend and confidant. If you would accept me.
I accept you, I deny you. I deny you. <laughs> and yet, in doing so, you prove me right. We are warriors. It was plain from the first how this would end. You live for these moments. When all hangs in the balance. When the difference between life and death is but a single stroke. I live for them too! This is who we are, my friend! This is all we are! Alamigo and Doma and Gollumold be damned! Oh boy. We tower above the gods. You by your gift. I The gods shall be made to hear. Damn. So where do we go from here? <laughs> the Royal is now available. Uh, Royal, oh, Menagiri. Oh boy. It's gonna be a trial. Yep. Mm. Oh, that was a crazy instance. You know, at this point, you kind of expect things like that to happen where they're going to merge or I don't even know. It gets a little crazy sometimes. A lot of times. It's all over the place. It's all a part of it though. One sec, I'm gonna check this as uh, we get ready.
there Let we see how much is left after this is it just the trial Yeah, pretty much after this, then it's just talking to people. So, almost there. Just need to complete this trial. Man, what a ride.
Just checking some stuff while we wait in queue chat. Uh. Ba, ba, ba. <laughs> it changed uh, to the AFK mode. The boy Ifrit. It's gotta be soon. It's been like five minutes. <laughs> this is the only part that's left. We just gotta wait until we get into it. And then that's it. Then we finish it up. This guy's in the, uh, the cutscene right now too. What is he, a dragoon? Yeah, a dragoon. I almost made one of these. Hrothgar? I almost made it as an alt though. Not like my main, main guy. I can't believe the last one was instant, and then this one is just taking a bit. So, I guess just as a, a recap, it's been pretty cool. <laughs> um, Stormblood has, has had some pretty neat parts to it. I feel like the, the strongest thing to it has been all the cutscenes. Um, a lot of the cutscenes have been really cool. Uh, there's a lot of arcs in it. Some of them, meh. Some of them I really liked. Um, I will say that I, I really liked the ending of Heaven Sword. Uh, especially like kind of where I jumped back into the game. I really enjoyed a lot of that stuff. And then also like even some of the patches between Heaven Sword to Stormblood was a lot of fun too. Um, especially that one bridge fight with all the dragons and stuff. That was amazing. That's probably been my favorite part so far uh, in this game. I haven't really been the biggest fan of this this guy. The guy that we've been fighting the entire time. Um, Xenos. He's kind of like, I don't know, he's... I don't see him as a big baddie. Like I feel, I see him as somebody that wants to be like this huge, like super badass. But he's kind of been like, okay, dude, you're trying. 
I don't know. That's just me, though. Hey, what's going on, UJ? Here we go. The final trial. The Royal Meningiri. I guess this is one of those stay close to everybody else. This way, okay. I don't even know where to go. maneuver huh whoa what holy crap His tail was down here.
Silence. <laughs> Are you all right? Xenos. Oh, he's back. <gasps> the hunter has indeed become the hunted. And yet, there is only joy, transcendent joy that I have never known. How invigorating, how pure this feeling. Is that what this was all about? All the meaningless death and destruction, so you could feel something? Meaningless. Men die that others may live. Those who survive are stronger for it. Not that you could ever understand. To have stood upon this great stage of fools. To have played my part to perfection. Oh, this. This moment. Let it be enshrined in eternity. My heart beating out of time. So clear. So vivid. So real. So real. Coward! Stop! Farewell, my first friend. My enemy.
Where is he? He's dead. By his own hand. <sighs> and justice has been done. No. There's no justice in that... ...in that rabid animal's end. Liberty or death. That so many should be forced to take up this creed to defeat such madness. We won. Forget him. The living have need of us now. Stand tall, Lise. Now is the time to raise a cheer for all who fought for freedom. A cheer loud enough to carry to the highest heavens. You're right. Thank you. Without you... Well, you know. So let's do it together. True. For Alamigo! For Alamigo. For my amigos. Victory! Who built all these structures? Oh my god, how is it this tall? Seriously. Whole squad. In crimson it began, and in crimson it ended, and then, and then we were free. There it is. But what is freedom? Really?
We may be free to live, to love, to grow old, to have dreams and desires, and to strive for them. But in the end, we're defined by the legacy our forefathers bequeathed to us. Even Xenos was once a baby in the cradle, innocent and pure. He was made into a creature that lived only for death, not born one. Twenty years of Imperial rule have left Alamigo torn and bleeding. I like how she did the narration for a lot of this. Like, that, that part's pretty cool. It won't be easy to heal a generation's worth of wounds, to bridge the gap. But I won't give up, Papalimo. I won't. Because I remember the price of freedom. I remember the smoke and the ashes and the blood. I remember the screams and the silence. And I'll do whatever it takes to honor their sacrifice, to build a home for us all. I promise you. This is the end. The end of the Imperial Province of Alamigo and the rebirth of Alamigo, the free nation. Long may she endure. The credits roll. I'd right, skip the credits. Estanine. Well, well, well. Oh boy. What a fine mess we've made. But spent feeding that primal, eh? Well, you won't be making any mischief with that amount of ether. Still, better safe than sorry. Wait, they just left them there? your hateful legacy. Father could not outlive his son. 
what nonsense. Do not mourn his loss. You surprise me, your radiance. I know what he was. Monsters are not made for thrones. Nor are the stars to sustain false gods who sup on their very essence. Should you raise a hand against my black robed brethren, I will not stop you. Our desires are one and the same preservation. Impression, resurrection, all the guys, all, all, all the guys, all the sin service. Okay. Got it. dare you Why is it so offending if he took off his mask in front of him? Why does that guy keep walking? Does he turn around every time you walk by him? Yeah, he does. What? And finally, Robon. Speak with beasts again. We're so fast here now. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen, Stormblood is just about complete. We've been through a lot together, haven't we? I can't thank you enough. There's something I need to say to you all. That is, if you have a moment. Good. You're all here. Good. Good. Thank you doesn't really suffice, does it? I'm grateful. Truly grateful from the bottom of my heart. But I know you didn't fight so hard just to hear me or anyone else say that. You fought because you wanted to help. Because you believed it was right. Because you're scions. Now, I'm obviously a scion. But, as Conrad left me in charge of things here, I also have responsibilities to Alamigo. When I put it like that, though, I realized I couldn't even pretend to be impartial anymore. So it seemed best to make it official. As long as I serve Alamigo, I can't be a scion. It might be selfish and short-sighted, but that's my decision.
Am I to understand that you summoned us all, some of us still nursing wounds, to hear this? Oh, I... I... Uh. I didn't... Um... <laughs> Forgive me, Lise. Twas but a jest. But this I say with the utmost sincerity. Scion or no, we are comrades, now and ever after. Is that not so? There you have it. Come what may, you may count on us in your hour of need. We shall never refuse you. Stola. Oh, gods. I swore I wouldn't cry. We're gonna see Sora next on the beach. Come I knew back it. Here, you slippery little devil. Uh, I think fishing could be so difficult. I knew he was still alive. What greater proof of a man's lingering mortality than an empty belly? A fate worse than death. Fie on it. To have arrived at the appointed place and time only to survive by mere force of habit. Truly, the Kami are not finished with us yet. Precious fortune. <laughs> How you test me with this wretched soul. He saved her too? I mean, I hope he saved her and he's not just holding on to her body. And also, how did what how do they end up on an island out there? What? Is that what was all underneath the building that collapsed? He's back. Nero. I was wondering who that was, and I was like, oh, now I remember him. So fell the hunter, but what of the hounds? So rose the children, but what of 
something <laughs> I missed. I couldn't read it in time. And there it is. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the part where I most likely will be taking a little bit of a break from Final Fantasy until they open up world transfers again. If they open up world transfers like this week or next week or the next week, I will be returning to the game and will be continuing uh, pretty much as long as we kind of need to or between releases of games. Um, next weekend, God of War releases. So, I mean, worst case, if it did happen, I would still do the world transfer, but I probably wouldn't do much of anything else. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much the plan. I'm actually going to go to the Limsa and uh, we'll call it. But, yeah, I'm just, right now, there's still, the queue times are, are, they're not horrible for me, but, like, when I get home, I am usually waiting an extra 30 to 40 minutes until queue times are, are available uh, for me to, to jump in. Um, so, so that's, that's pretty much the main thing, but you sail history. Did it actually sell? Oh wow, I actually sold some stuff today. What happens if stuff doesn't sell on the market? Turn to inventory, turn to inventory. All right, I just want to remove that. Okay. Now let's go, let's just go back here. Okay. And right here is where I'm going to call it. So guys, like I said, um, we'll see whenever world transfers open back up again i'll be jumping back into this game there's a few games in the meantime that i want to play um i think i'm actually going to be starting a let's play of uh the secret world legends it's a game that has had a really good story from what everything i've heard uh but the game is like the player count is like super super low but the story is good so i want to play that game before they cut off servers whenever that is um because it's like under 100 people that play sometimes so it's it's very hit or miss hey ryan thank you for the like i appreciate it so um that's probably the next game i'm gonna be playing i'm actually going to i was going to continue this stream but i'm gonna take a break um i'm gonna go eat some like lunch dinner whatever you want to call it and then from there, uh, we'll probably pick up in a little bit later tonight, maybe an hour or two, and I'll go live again. But for now, that has been Final Fantasy XIV Stormblood. Uh, we still have all the quests between Stormblood and Shadowbringers to do, like literally all of them. But um, I'm excited to return. I'm just waiting on those... Uh, that, those transfers because that's like the biggest thing for me um but for now that's about it i really like stormblood i really enjoyed it game just keeps getting better and better so i can't wait to see what happens in shadowbringers patches between shadowbringers and endwalker and then finally endwalker um so yeah for now thank you guys uh, if you like this playthrough, definitely check it, check out the rest of the parts on YouTube and everything. Uh, I also have Heaven Sword is on there, the patches between Heaven Sword and Stormblood, and then also the very, very, very beginning, which is all the way back in like February of last year, um, where I started out as a regular like 
Hyrule character guy. I forget what, how you say it. Um, so that's all out there. But for now, have a good one. I will be back probably a little bit later. So you guys do what you got to do in the meantime. Um, have a good rest of your day. Hopefully I'll see you in a bit when I start. Probably. <laughs> hey, Ryan, thank you for the follow as well. I appreciate it. Um, so yeah, that's all I got. Thank you guys. Peace out. Stay safe. Hopefully I'll see you in a bit. And that's about it. Have a good one. Adios. Goodbye.